Hi, welcome to this video tutorial on inequalities. This is section 2.5 in the new uh, curriculum, or it's from C1 if you're doing the international A-level. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a key skills tutorial on the linear inequalities. So those are the ones that don't have an x squared. What you're going to do is you're going to start by taking all of the numbers and you're going to put them together. So they're going to be on the same side. So here you can see that this minus 9 needs to move on to the other side over here. Now, when we move something across the inequality, we need to change the sign. So this is a minus, so we need to change it to a plus. The next thing we need to do is add up all of our like terms. So there's only a 7x, so there's nothing to add. There's no other x's that we can add to that. But we can add 19 to 9. And that will give us 28. Once you've added together all of your like terms, you need to look at what's in front of the x. So we've got a 7 in front of the x. We need to solve for x, which means we can only have 1x. So to do that, we need to divide both sides by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, or 1x. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. So that's going to be your final answer. I always like to put my final answers in a little red box so that the examiner or whoever's marking your homework can see the final answer. We're going to just take a second and we're going to graph this. Start by drawing a coordinate axis system. It's just going to be a little sketch. Now I'm going to draw the line x is equal to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So here it's going to go x is equal to 4. And I'm going to draw a line there. Often you're asked to shade regions with inequalities. So if you take a different color or cross hatching if you prefer, we've been asked to shade the region x is less than 4. I want you to remember less than to the left. So we want to shade to the left of this line here. So we're going to shade all of this space here. Because it's less than and not less than or equal to, we're going to make it a spotty line. That's going to help you later on if you've got more complicated questions where you're asked to shade this region and that region. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial.